Hey friends, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to share with you a drugstore haul. I went shopping at Ulta and Walgreens and at my local HEB and at CVS. Little note, little side note, I've never been into CVS really and I was pleasantly surprised about CVS. And that's just what I'm going to say about that. I thought that was, you know, I'm the only one that's probably never been into CVS like that, but I'm pretty sure we'll be shopping there again. But if you like good old hauls like this, give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe, and I'm going to show you what I got at the drugstore. Like I said, these products are purchased at different places. Um, if I can remember where I bought something, I'm going to tell you, but if not, you know it's in one of those four places. Okay, the products that I do know that I got at my HEB is just um, this Hask Carotene Protein Smoothing Conditioner. Um, if you watch my other video regarding my hair care products, you know that I am looking for a new conditioner. And since I love the mask so well, I thought I'd give the conditioner a try. And then the last thing I got at the HEB is this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in shade 15 Fair. I love this concealer. I don't know why it took me so long to purchase this, but it is actually a very good concealer and I, I love it. I mean, it does a very good job covering my dark circles. Um, doesn't go into my fine lines too much doesn't crease that much. Um, you know, it's, it's just a really good concealer for the price. Now, what I got at Ulta is I actually went in there to get another smooth body buttercream from Soap and Glory. I was, I'm pretty much almost out of mine that I've got in December. That's how much I love this stuff. This body buttercream it's really the only thing that I will now put on my body because I have tried so many buttercreams out there and it really they never work and my legs still look like lizard legs but once I started using this my legs have never looked and felt better ever so if you are looking for a good old body butter and for the price and how much you get I highly recommend this. I, I don't think you can find anything better for the price. It's absolutely wonderful. The next thing I got is I have been, let me just tell you this. I have been looking into the whole cream and contour palette. The cream, yeah. I have been looking into the contour and highlighting cream palettes out there. And they are kind of pricey. Especially for someone that has never actually used a cream contour before or a cream highlight. So I was really happy when I saw that NYX came out with one. I got mine in the shade Light. This stuff, let me tell you. First, it comes with this little sliver of a protector. I mean, you could take it off, but I just kind of just keep mine so it bounces right back up. See? That's right back up. This stuff is a neutral to towards the cooler side. It gives you, it's, it's very nice. Um, it's very creamy. It's really easy to blend. This cream color is absolutely perfect for my skin tone. In the illuminating side, it's a white champagne color. None of this has any kind of um, glitter in it. No speckles like that. And it's just a really nice um, sheen to it. You can tell that the contour shade's a lot darker, but if you're looking to get into the cream contour and highlighting game, I suggest you try this first before you go out and spend the money. One, to see if you'll actually like it. Two, because it's a really good product. And I, you know, I look, I really am enjoying this. So I'm not really looking into the higher end of the palettes because this is working pretty good for me so far. 
The next thing I got is this Murad um, Advanced Acne and Regal Reducer. Now, I was looking for um, something to, well, since I found out that my Neutrogena um, Stress Serum Moisturizer thing that I've showed you in my skincare routine, they no longer make that. So, I went there and I asked the lady, you know, what would be a good daytime serum slash moisturizer. I mean, I don't know what you want to call it, a treatment, I guess. And she pointed me to a couple things, but this one really caught my eye because it's um, Advanced Acne and Wrinkle Reducer, that's what it says, which for me is really good because I have adult acne and I do have, you know, some wrinkles and anything that I can find that is supposed to combat both, I'm happy about. And so, I mean, I've only been using this for a few days, so I really don't have an actual decision about this or a uh, conclusion because it's going to take me a minute just to even see if this actually does what it's supposed to which it states that it's supposed to clinically prove clinically proven acne medicine treats and prevents future breakouts visibly reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles I don't know yet just like I said I haven't used it for very long but I like the concept. I'll let y'all know. If you want a more in-depth um, review regarding this, um, just tell me in the description bar and I can make it happen. The next place I went to was Walgreens. I wanted to check out their makeup selection. Um, I really, my Walgreens, I think, were pretty much out of anything that was new or anything that I wanted to try. So, I did pick up... And I'm sad to say, did not work for me. I was really, really, really disappointed because I had such high hopes for this. Because everybody has said that it has worked beautifully. They haven't found anything better. It's Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm. Did not work for me. It actually made my skin look horrible. I mean, it... You could see every pore that I had on my face. My foundation did not go on smoothly. It did not look flawless. It did not look anything but horrible. I mean, I was so... I was really upset about it because, you know, everybody that has tried this has said nothing but great things about it. And I try it. And I wanted to cry because it looked so... My makeup looked so bad. So, you know, I'm just going to end up giving this to my husband. He can use it. You know, there's no point of just taking it back because he can use it. Now, when I went to CVS, which I have to say I am not a CVS shopper. I've really never been into CVS before. Um, so, I was pleasantly surprised with everything that they had there. I mean, they had so much stuff. That, I mean, especially their hair care line, the hair care products, they had every kind of high-end shampoo and conditioner and treatments that I could possibly think of. I mean, I was pleasantly surprised. And needless to say, I'm going to be shopping there again. But the one thing that I did get there that was on the high-ender side, high-ender, high-end side, is this It's a Tan Miracle Leave-In Product. <clears throat> Excuse me, let me get a drink. Now, I've heard a lot of people talk about this, and I needed a new leave-in conditioner because um, I've had my wind one for so long, and I just I wanted to change it up. But I got the regular one. I know they had a different one that had carotene in it, but this one spoke to me more because it did say that it. Um, what's the reason why? <laughs> I, Oh, that it seals and protects hair color, and the other one did not claim that. But the original states that it repairs dry and damaged hair, adds shine, detangles, controls frizz, seals and protects hair color, which sold me on this, prevents split ends, stops hair breakage, enhances natural body in a flat iron spray and thermal protector. All in one. 
Um, I've only used this a couple times, so I really don't have an opinion on it, but it does smell good. It does seem to get rid of my tangles that I have, so I like it, you know. There's probably other products out there, but so far, it's pretty good. Now, the next, um, I went to the Milani side because they were having a buy one, get one half off, and I picked up the Milani eyeshadow primer in nude. Um, there's been so many people talking about this, how it's a great primer, how it works wonderfully. So, you know, I don't know if it does or if it doesn't because as you can tell, it's still in the box. But, you know, I have high hopes for it, so I hope I'm not disappointed. And with that half off, I got the Milani Eliminating Face Powder in 03. This is a beautiful pink, um, it's, it's very light, so this would be a very good highlighter. It says it's a blush, it could, what does it say, it says Eliminating Face Powder, Ultra Smooth Highlighter, Bronzer, and Blush. I don't know why you would want to use this as a bronzer because I don't, that just makes no sense. But as a highlighter and as a soft blush or to put this over your blush if your blush is matte just to give it a nice little glow to it, I think it's going to be beautiful and you know, it's very creamy, very soft. I mean it's... Mm -hmm. So far, the way I can see, I like it. You know, I, I can't, I don't have anything bad to say about it because it not, it does feel really nice and it does blend out really well. So, here's to hoping. I also had to pick up another MUA uh, professional crease brush. I had to pick this up again because my puppy ate my original one, which I absolutely loved because... This crease brush is very dense. Um, there's minimal fallout in it, and it and it fits perfectly in my crease. I mean, I can't, you know, I have the Sigma ones, and they and I do love them, but this one is so much smaller, and I found it at the drugstore, and it's ten bucks. So I really am impressed with this MUA, but this is the only one I have, so. But it really is a very good crease brush. And then I picked up another eyeshadow primer because I really need to get into more eyeshadow primers just to see what's out there because all I really have is the Urban Decay one and I've had it for a while. But this Wet n Wild kind of, I don't know, it kind of jumped up at me. Probably because it said new and it was a photo, fo photo focus eyeshadow primer. Um, it has the consistency and it looks like the Urban Decay primer. I mean, it looks absolutely like it. It's got that new color. It goes on just like the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. I haven't had a chance to leave my makeup on it for an extremely long amount of time, so I can't really tell you the longevity of it. But I do know that for as long as I wear my makeup, which is about five to six hours it does a very beautiful job and I'm you know it could probably last longer but I don't keep my makeup on you know for a long amount of time and the other two things that I got that I'm really kind of excited about first one is this wet n wild mega glow contouring palette in dulce de light light dulce de leche 749a this powder on the highlighting side is the perfect, perfect highlighting powder for me. It's not too yellow. It's not too, it's not too creamy. I mean, it's not too on the cream side. It's the absolute perfect shade for me. And I really, really, really like it. I mean, it's very buttery. It's very pigmented. It goes on beautifully underneath the eyes. And the contour shade... It is on the warmer side, but when I put it on top of that more cooler neutral cream um, contour palette, it 
looks amazing. I mean, it just glides on like butter. I mean, it's it actually very pigmented and very gorgeous. It really is. I know the packaging is really big and bulky, but I, I can get over that. The only thing I can say about this palette that's kind of more negative than the big and bulkiness is the fallout. All you gotta do is put your brush in it and you can see the powder just kind of escaping everywhere. But that just, to me, that just shows you how much, you know, how beautiful and how creamy this thing is. If you're wanting to find a palette for, you know, stepping into the contour and highlighting game before spending all that money in the higher end, I really suggest you try this Wet n Wild. It's very good for the price. Now, I looked at the e.l.f. section, and I know a lot of people have been loving their um, palettes lately, especially their blush and bronzer. So, I wanted to try out their Illuminating palette. Now, this is also new to them. It has four different shades, just like the regular palettes. Um, there is a, a peachy one, a more champagne color, a pinky champagne color, and your typical yellow. One thing about this palette that I noticed, it's very creamy, very pigmented, and it has no sparkle. There is no little pieces of glitter in this, which I absolutely love. The finish is natural. It looks amazing on the skin. Um, I honestly think if you, if you want to try to get a highlighting palette and it's your first one, I suggest you try this e.l.f. one. I mean, you can't beat it. It's six bucks. Um, you can find it anywhere. I mean, I suggest you go to CVS because they had more of it than, say, Target. But this palette is really, really, really gorgeous. Very pigmented. I think it's a, worth a lot more than, than $6. So, you know, you can't beat it. You can't beat it at all. And last but not least, you know, I had to pick up another Lilac. I got this shade in 201, which is Lilac, Lilac Y Charm. I'm probably not saying that right, so don't hate on me too much for that, but it's from L'Oreal. You know how much I love the other color that I have. This looks like a more rosy brown shade. Very beautiful. I haven't tried it yet. I don't know why. I'm just, I guess I just wanted for y'all to see it before I tried it. But this looks absolutely stunning. And it, you know, it's got the same finish as the other one does. So, I know I'm going to love it. And I can't wait to actually put this on my lips. Well, that is my haul for y'all. I hope that y'all really liked it. Um, if y'all have any products that y'all think that I should try out at the drugstore, please leave it in the description bar. And I will be more than happy to try it out. Because, you know, makeup, spending money, that's my jam. That's what I do the best. So, see y'all at my next video. Bye, friends.